Hey, what's up everybody? Pulse Motor Built Love 2018. Here's my entry. Check it out. Guess what I built? I built a cheesy fan. Get it? A cheesy fan because it's a fan and it looks like cheese. Anyway, we are running on these very small capacitors. These are an equivalent of 820 microfarads and they're charged up right now to 124 volts and dropping. So as you can see the little piece of paper over there is blowing with the fan blade that's on the end there. And there are 50 flat pancake coils that I printed on my printer. And there are 200 wires because these are bifiler pancake coils. They are running off of reed switches right now, but I'm firing on every cycle or twice a cycle, north, south, north, south. But I can fire just one and probably it would run even more efficiently. So as this thing is running, I'm gonna show you more on time lapse of me building this, but I'm gonna talk about it while we're doing that. So I've run this on a 500 microfarad capacitor uh, at 105 volts for seven minutes before it quit running. It'd probably run a lot longer if I were to tune it differently. But yes, it did run for a long time. However, it isn't a generator yet. That's the ultimate goal, is that it will actually be a generator. But uh, yeah, this thing has a crap ton of individual wires and I've wired them all up, got them all configured in series right now. They're by or pancake coils, 30 AWG wire. There are uh, some pretty decent sized magnets in the middle there spinning. And then there are two reed switches on each side that fire the positive and the negative cycle or the north and the south cycle. I can run on just one half and it would probably be even more efficient. But for now, I've learned that uh, I can actually recover a lot of the inertial generation power by timing this thing right with the second set of reed switches, so it's kind of interesting. So here you can see all the wires coming out of this side, terminating down here on these strips in the back, and then on this side, I have the center of the winding coming out of the center, going around and uh, also to the back of these boards. These boards are just housing the wires, I've got extra room for anything else, and then I've got all my interconnections here, which there are quite a few of them, and uh, then it's just running on this little cap. And uh, I'll show you the voltage dropping. It's pretty subtle. It doesn't really drop very much, very fast. Right now I'm in efficiency mode. I can run this at a, light, a lot higher RPM. Oh, now she's running. And without the fan, that's a pretty good click. I've also accurately measured this thing running down to about 500 microwatts, which is pretty impressive in its own right. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you uh, in the next video. Yeah, lots of things to still do to this thing.